Well, Stephen, European football qualified for after Christmas. Sum up your emotions after that uh, full-time scoreline. Yeah, I'm very pleased that obviously we take European football after after Christmas. I think the boys deserve that. If you look at our effort from the first round qualifying up until now, uh, I think we certainly deserve it. I don't think we were good tonight in the, in the second half. Um, we went out with the intentions to win the game. I thought we were really good first half. We created en enough chances to have a bigger advantage. Even at the end, you know, we have a fantastic break to go and kill the game or to win it. But um, I thought we. We stopped doing what we're good at in the second half, which is either finding space or keeping the ball. Mm -hmm. And then it was just wave after wave, and it was direct and first balls and second balls. Um, credit to them, you know, they never gave up. We didn't expect them to. Um, these were the uh, the dark horses in the group, if you like. Uh -huh. You know, I know Feyenoord are the big name, uh, Porto are the big name, but I knew a little bit about young boys that um, they were no mugs. So very difficult group. So credit to the boys getting out. Satisfying to get through, but any regret at all that you haven't managed to go through as the group winners? Yeah, always. You know, we're, we're representing Rangers. You know, you always want to win games. So uh, I'm not going to stand here and celebrate a draw mm -hmm. uh, or finish in second. Not at all. Um, but you know, let's give credit where it's due. This club suffered a lot, mm -hmm. and uh, I think this is the first time they've had knockout football in Europe since 2011. Eight years. Mm -hmm. And eight years ago, they had top top footballers, um, and obviously it suffered a lot. And it was about building it back up and. Um, this is another step in the right direction, so I'm very pleased, I'm very proud, but I won't over-celebrate for sure. How's Ryan Jacket in the dressing room there? Uh, he, he's, he's got a red card, listen, he, he's been majestic again for the majority of the game. Um, it doesn't mean he gets any more punishments, he was out of the yeah. one of the games anyway. He'll be disappointed because we're going to go and get a, a, a nice tie that Ryan would have loved to play him, but um, if there's one player in that dressing room who's going to get no criticism from me, it's Ryan Jack. The aim was to get through after Christmas, so how far can this team now go in the competition? Listen, we just need to take each game as it comes. We'll, we'll give it everything we've got, we'll see what the draw brings. But I remember sitting in the draw in the canteen with all the players, and when it was coming out the heart, I seen Porto and I thought, ooh, tough. I seen Feyenoord, I thought, very tough. I seen Young Boys and I thought, that's a Champions League group. Um, they've all got Champions League experience, we haven't. We're, we're searching for that, we're striving for that, so this is... Uh, Incredible achievement if you think about where we was um, middle of July, mm -hmm. qualifying in Gibraltar. To get out of that group, uh, whatever way you do it, it's fantastic. Another goal for Alfredo again tonight. Does this result go any way to softening the blow of what happened on Sunday for everyone? I think what it means is um, these players have got character and mm -hmm. guts. And it's been tough since the weekend, of course. And I know what it's like to lose a final. You feel flat. Um, you, you take days to recover from it, so for us to recover and perform well enough to get out the group, uh, it's a superb effort from the lads. And can a, a good week be even better? Will your contract be done and dusted in the next few days? Um, something's imminent, so um, uh, yeah, I mean it, it, it's straightforward. I've been obviously waiting for this moment for the two huge games to be out the way and uh, now it's down to the club to announce it when they're ready, but uh, for me now um, it's all about Motherwell getting the lads recovered and uh, three important points of the weekend. Well done. Thanks Thank for talking to us. Cheers. Thanks.